Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a nice geometry math problem. Let us say we have given a right angle triangle and there is a circle inside the triangle. We have to find out the height and perpendicular of this triangle. What we have given in this problem? Here we have given the base of this triangle which is 20 units and also given the radius of this circle which is 4 units. So we will try to find out the width of edge. How can we solve this math problem? First of all, let us suppose this is our triangle ABC. Let us suppose this is point A, this is point B, and this is point C. Let us suppose this is point P, this is point Q, and this is point R, where the circle touches the sides of this triangle. Now to find out the value of H, first of all, let us connect this center with this point P and this point Q. So this figure will become. Now here this is the radius of this circle which is polynomial so this is also radius so this will be also polynomial and this will be also polynomial. Now if this let us suppose this is our center O. Now if OQ is polynomial so this PB will be also polynomial and this is polynomial so this will be also polynomial. Now look at to this side of the triangle BC here it has total length of 20 units but here this length BQ is polynomial so what will be the remaining length? QC this will be 20 minus 4 which is 16 so this will be 16 units what, what about this one then what will be this one then here we will use tangent to a circle theorem that is if we have two tangents from an external point to a circle then the length of that two tangents will be equal congruent so here we have two tangents from point C to this circle tangent QC and tangent RC the QC is 16 units, so this tangent will be also this unit, so this will be also 16 units. Then we have also two tangents from point A to this circle, tangent AP and tangent AR, which will be same in length. But here the length of any one tangent is not given, so let us suppose this tangent is equal to X, so this will be also X. Now look at the figure here, what is the length of AB? This is simply X plus 4. So from here, from this figure, we can write our sine length AB will be our AB will become this will become x plus four. So what is BC? BC is total twenty units. So the length of BC is twenty units. So what will be the length of AC? AC is simply x plus sixteen. So this will become AC is equal to x plus 16. Now what is our target here? Since we have to find out the height of this triangle, the perpendicular of this triangle, so but right here we need the value of x. Now to find out the value of x as this is a right angle triangle, so here we will apply the Pythagoras theorem and we will find out the value of x. So by using Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So it will become hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Here our hypotenuse is AC and our perpendicular and height is AB and base is BC. So this will become AC square is equal to perpendicular is AB so this will become AB square plus base is BC so this will become BC square so let's substitute the value of AC AB and BC from here so this will become the value of AC is simply X plus 16 so this will become X plus 16 whole square is equal to AB is X plus 4 so will become X plus 4 whole square plus BC is 20 so this will become 20 square here in these two expression we will use a plus b whole square identity so here in these two expression we will use this one identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus two times a b so using this algebraic identity here these two terms will become this will become x square plus 
16 square plus 2 times 16 times x is equal to and this will become this will become x square plus power square plus 2 times power times x plus 20 square is simply 400 so this will become 400 let's simplify both sides here there is x square in both sides which has positive sign so we can cancel them with each other and let's simplify the other terms the 16 square simply this is 256 plus 2 times 16 is simply 32 x is equal to power square is 16 so this is 16 and this is 400 so this will become 416 plus 2 times 4 is 8 so this will become 8x then we will move and take this variable to turn to the left hand side and this constant number to the right hand side so this will become 32x minus 8x is equal to 416 minus 256 32 minus 8 is simply 24 so this will become 24x and this will become 6 minus 6 is 0 41 minus 25 it is above 16 so this is 160 now we'll divide both sides by 24 so this 24 and this 24 will be cancelled so this will become x is equal to 160 divided by 24 if we divide 160 by 24 it gives me about 6.67 up to two decimal places so finally x is equal to 6.67 which is the length of ab now here our target is to find out the height of this triangle the length of ab so therefore from here we can write the length of ab as our ab is simply the height of the triangle which is x plus 4 but here the width of x is simply 6.67 plus 4 6.67 plus 4 it is simply 10.67 so finally this is our required height so finally the height and perpendicular of this right angle triangle it is above this is simply 10.67 units which is our final target and last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step geometry math problems thanks for watching